Now, according to the readings which we have read, it gives us the picture what took place in the days of Mordecai and Esther. And we have to understand uh, Mordecai and Esther are the chosen nation of God. They are God's people. People who God have set apart so that he may manifest to them. And for God to manifest to these people, he gave them laws which they must follow which will bring God to walk with them wherever they will be when they are obedience to the law given to them God will be with them and God will bless them and, and God will fight their battles that was the Jew people. And the Bible says in the, in the days of this king, he promoted Haman. And this Haman was the enemies of the Jew. He was against the Jew people. He was against the chosen people. He was against the agenda of God. If the Jew people were the agenda of God, it means everybody who is against the Jew is against the agenda of God. Like you and I, we are chosen people. We are agenda of God on earth. We work for his interest on earth. So that our existence on earth it's to portray the work of God on earth. And anybody who is against our God will fight us. Because when he fight us, he, frust he frustrated the work of God on earth. It's what took place in the days of, uh, of Mordecai. It's what happened in the days of Mordecai. It's what happened in the days of Mordecai. And for that reason, when Haman was elevated, after being elevated, promoted, the Bible says he, he, he became uh, like the second in power in the, in the kingdom. And this order was given to people. The order was given that everybody must bow before him. Which was impossible to Mordecai who has, has a, a different law from his God. And the law of his father, the law of his God, refrain him not to, to bow to anything. Not to bow. In a me. And when this order was given to the entire kingdom, everybody must bow down before Haman. For Mordecai, this was impossible. He knew I'm living in this kingdom, but I'm not of this kingdom. It's the kingdom of my God which favor me in this nation. These people, they don't know me. Just, I'm, I'm just a foreigner. I am a, an alien in this land. It's the, it's the law of my God which favor me in this nation, in this kingdom. If I will go against the law of my God, I will suffer in this nation. And Mordecai was not ready to bow before Ammon. And this report was reported to Ammon. Mordecai don't follow the decree which was given. And they put him in the traps. 
and when he was founded not do it and because Haman was was the enemy of the Jew if you have you have followed when we were reading this text the text mention it well Haman was the enemy of the Jews. And Haman go to the king and tell him in your kingdom there are people who have a different culture with ours. There are they are all over in your kingdom. They are scattered in your kingdom. And this it's a threat for your king for your kingship. These people, if you will permit me, I, I, I will give 10,000 shekels to those who do your business. So and how will we will kill these people wherever they are? Women, men, all the people and children. They must be killed and looted their goods. And the king was uh, was interested in this uh, in this demand of Haman, who was the enemy of the Jew. <coughs> and the king uh, received that uh, uh, the message of Haman. He accepted the gifts of Haman. This was a conspiracy. Because somebody was against the Jew people. Because their culture differs with their culture. And Haman became enemy of the Jew. He was, he was ready to bribe the king. You know, you cannot bribe a king with anything. You have to know what you have to do to give to the king to bribe him. But because of the enmity which Haman had with the Jew people, he was ready to pay 10,000 shekels so that the Jew may be destroyed wherever they are. So that they may be destroyed and their goods be looted. And later, as was, and, and, and the king signed the documents. And letters were dispatched all over the, the kingdom. So that when that day, the, 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 the dates come, which they have planned to destroy them, they have to finish all of them. The letter was dispatched all over. And my Bible tells me, Haman was seated with the king, taking his wine. The chosen people are ready to be destroyed. Are ready to be slaughtered like, like goats. But I like the Bible. We have a God who is in heaven. Why a man hated with passion these people? Their culture was not like theirs. The Jew people had the culture of their God, which was different from the culture of other people. The same way as the, these people have tried to impose as their laws. I'm talking now about the, the, the new world agenda, the, order. The new world order. They are trying to push the agenda so that a man may marry a man. A woman can marry a woman which is against the law of our God. All those things, it was just a preparation for what they are doing today now. So that when we accept this agenda, when we accept the agendas, we, God will be against us and God will not protect us. They knew it. They knew what they were doing. It was just a preparation of their new world agenda. But I have a good news for you today. They are not the creator of the world. 
They are not the creator of this earth. We have a God who is the creator of heaven and earth. And he has given us authority over the earth. He says in his word, the heavens is mine. The earth has been given to the sons of man. This is our earth. We have power over it. We have authority over it. Why we are given authority over it? Because it's our place of assignment. We are in the mission here on earth. That's why new world agenda, new world order has no power over you and I. Why? We are the representative of God on earth. As long as they are not the creator of this planet earth, they are going to fail with their agenda. We have videos which shows which shows their meeting, their plan, their agenda to depopulate the world to destroy people so that they may achieve the agenda. But you and I will have power. We have been given power to trample the, the, the serpent and the, and, and the scorpions and to drive out all evil spirits. As long as this agenda is not from our God, you and I will have power to destroy it. We have power to destroy it. We are the church of God. We are the body of Christ. No, the church has been given power to trample the power of the enemy. They will come in one way, but my Bible tells me they will be scattered in seven ways. They will be confused. They cannot depopulate what they are not the initiator of it. They cannot say we are going in Africa. They are expecting to see dead body lay in the roads. They are lying to themselves. We are not going to die here. We know what we are watching. What they are what is taking place in their nation. Because they don't obey, they don't uh, 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 worship the God we are worshiping. That's why they are dying this, the way they are dying. But we are the people who worship our God. We are worshiping our God. As long as we worship our God, His presence will be together with us. His protection will be upon us. We are not going to die. We shall live to declare the goodness of God. We are declaring over you. We cancel your report, your declaration. It shall not take place here on Africa. The way you are saying that you are, you are waiting to see dead body in our roads, we are not going to die like, like flies. No, no, no. We shall live to declare the goodness of God. For information, when they wanted to destroy Jesus Christ, at his birth, when the king of Herod was informed that the king of kings has been born, they tried to kill Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ took refuge in Africa. Africa gave Jesus Christ refuge. Whoa. So that he may not be destroyed. Oh, Africa, we, we are not going to die. We gave Jesus Christ our savior refuge. They said it took place again when they were, they were crucifying Jesus Christ. Simon, an African man, he helped Jesus Christ to carry the cross. We are not going to die. Africa will live. We will declare the goodness of God. It doesn't matter how you are, you are conspiring against us by your agenda. We have cultures which is divine culture. A man cannot marry a man. A woman cannot marry a woman. And because we have rejected your law, you have conspired how to depopulate us. We are not going to die. We are the body of Christ. We are the church of the living God. We have power and the earth has been given to us. This is our planet. We are the people to decide what will take place on earth. Not your new world order. Not you. You are just the creation of God. 
But you are not God's people. Because for you to become God's people, you have to receive Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. You are just the creator of God, but you are not God's people. We, we are God's people. We represent God on earth. Power has been given to us. The Spirit of God is in us. You will not make it. Your agenda will be frustrated. In the name of Jesus, Africa shall live to declare the goodness of God. In the name of Jesus, my viewers, wherever you are, let me show you some videos so that you may know what they are planning against you. We may, for us to pray, for us to stand, we have to know their plan. When many people are claiming this is the God who is punishing his people. This is not the work of God. This is just the, the, the group of people who have come together with their plan to destroy us. The same way as it was planned in the days of Mordecai and Esther. Mod Haman bribed the king for the chosen nation to be killed, to be slaughtered as gods. But it didn't take place because these people knew their God. Those who know their God, they will be might they will do exploits. It's our time, church of God. It's our time to do exploits. It's time to arise and shine. It's time to show our God. It's a time to show we are God's people. We are peculiar people. We are not flies to die like... We are God's people. And we represent his agenda on earth. Hallelujah. You can, you can see this picture. Which I'm showing you. This is COVID-19. Mm -hmm. Africa will soon have dead bodies lying on the streets. Melinda Gates, wife of Bill Gates. This is a lie. Bill Gates' wife, Bibi we will Bibi belong to God. You have no power over Africa. You cannot decide about Africa. We are, we are people who pray God. We know our God. If it has happened where you are, it's because of what you are worshipping. We can see on your streets, devil worshippers do their cult, do their services in midday. In open eyes, they are worshipping devil. But here in Africa, we are worshipping our maker. We are worshipping our God. It shall not happen in Africa. It shall not happen. You are not going to see dead body lying in our roads, in our streets. You are going to, you are going, your expectation will be cut off. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. We have not been given the spirit of fear. But we have been given the spirit of power. And sound mind. Sound mind talk about the promise of God. We know what the Bible tells us. We shall not die, but we shall live to declare the goodness of God. That is the sound mind. We know the plan of God. Not, not, he, had, he doesn't have evil plan over us, but to give us, to prosper us. We are not going to die. You are lying. We, we shall live and declare the goodness of God. Let me show you another thing. Devil, Satan. But in Africa, we are worshiping the living God. This was not done in right. This is not in a day. This this is how you are dying like flies. Because you have invited the devil. 
you have allowed love that is displaced our God. You have allowed gay marriage. This is against this is the sin of Sodom and Gomorrah. Which caused God to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. That's why Africa is not going to die. To this day, it remains the official policy of the American government. It has not changed. Mm -hmm. may not be implemented by mm -hmm. Trump, but it remains the same. That uh, the purpose of the foreign policy in Africa was to uh, reduce the, the population. So to give aid to countries in Africa, not uh, clean water and schooling and things like that, but uh, contraception and abortion. In order to re shrink the population of Africa, because they have great God, this is a plan to we destroy, to depopulate Africa <coughs> because of our resources. So that when we die, they can take authority over our, our gift. They didn't bring us water, that they brought us uh, contraceptive to control. Uh, Family planning. Family planning. We to let HIV. They have brought HIV. We have let kill a kid They brought everything. We have said, "Manome na manome wa wane." He said, "Man to man, they should marry." We said, "Manome na manome wa wazi kuzaa." Because they cannot bring. Na manamuki na manamuki wa wazi kuzaa. And a lady to a lady, they cannot. Because the mission, mission now is to depopulate. The mission is to collect a population chain. Now, we catch manome na manome wa wane. Akuna akuna kongezeka. There is no addition. This is the agenda which is revealed. In Onyesha. And when they have brought COVID-19, so when they bring COVID-19, they know what they are working. They are trying to depopulate. But we are not going to die. We shall live. Another video is here. Not contagious. Everybody is looking at China saying, oh, look at what the good things they did. They weren't as bad as they usually are. No, really? You, you withheld the information and destroyed the evidence to say that it could pass from human to human. So what happened? Well, the flights continued all around the world. Borders remained open. The virus spread everywhere in the world. We wouldn't even restrict uh, travel from and to China for another two. Wait, another video. Let me show you because somebody wrote a book which says, "Be inspired before you expire." Be inspired, kabla you expire. Because when we are praying, just praying without knowing what is going on, we'll not make it. But when we pray with understanding, we know what the enemy is working, what the enemy is doing, and we will be able to, 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 to win this battle. I'm trying to bring this video for you to know as a church. COVID-19 is not about our God. COVID this is the plan of the enemy to cast fear on us so that we may accommodate their laws, their agenda. This is not a new world. They have to create their own. In this one which was given to us, we have power over it. It shall not happen. They will have to create their own for them to achieve their goal. We are telling you people new order agenda. You will not make it. As long as the church is on earth, you will not make it. There are people who tried also. In the book of Genesis chapter 11, they decided themselves, they came together in one language, in one idea. We have to build our own tower. We are, we are tired to live here on earth. We, are, we must be where he, he lives also. When God who created them, he gave them earth to dominate. But they wake, they wake up one day and they decide, no, 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 we are not going to remain here. We have to build our own tower. We have to make our name. The Bible says clearly they wanted to make their name. They wanted to be known also. We are not just 
we are not just normal people. We are great people. We can achieve whatever we plan. We can change the plan of God also. And impose our law also. Woo! And the Bible said they build their tower. They build their tower. My Bible tells me. One day God was watching them. When God watched them, and God, say, God spoke to himself. These people have one language. They have one idea. Whatever they decide, they will do it. But I have never created them so that they may, live, they may come to live where I am me. The heavens are mine. The earth has been given to them. For this reason, I will bring confusion there come. And the Bible says, God co co brought confusion their language. Somebody speak English, one person speak English, another French, another German, another Kimasai, Swahili, Kijaluo, Kiluya, Kikamba, Kimeru, na hawaku ele wanatema, na kazi yao ikaishi hapo. It's not the first time. It's happened. And this new world order, they are trying to bring their agenda also. But they will, they will not make it. If these people who try to bring the towers, they are unable to achieve it. We are speaking to you new order, new, new world agenda. It will, you will not make it in the name of Jesus. You are not going to depopulate the world. You are not the master of it. You are not the creator of it. We shall live. We shall increase. Is the order which was given to Adam fill the earth? We will fill the earth until Jesus comes. Until the second coming of Jesus, we are going to fill the earth. You are not going to depopulate the earth in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. As long as the church still on earth, you will not make it. I have another video for me to continue for my message. Mm. Give me, watch this video. It's about a church. The devil himself came in a body and attack. attack. Uh, bonjour, bonjour. Uh, je me présente au nom de Daniel. Uh, Nazar ou Anabo Payangola. Je ne vous ai pas dit que je suis en Espagne. This took place in, in Spain. The church and something in form of uh, the devil himself in a boat claim on the higher of that church and to break the course. We can watch it. You can watch it. The devil knows the power of the church. And he knows the meaning of the course. Because it's where he was born. See how, why? He know the meaning of the cross. And the first order which was given all world. Churches should not gather. Social distances. It's only about churches. People still going in the supermarket. People still going in the hospital. People still going in the banks. People still going in the market. But only churches. Because the devil know the power of the church. The devil knows if the church come together, they are losers. But what they didn't know, the church is not only the physical body. The church is a spiritual body. We may be scattered all over, but when we connect spiritually, we'll bring down their power, we'll bring down their conspiracy, because they will never want the church. In the name of Jesus Christ. Watch that video. Still people gather in marketplaces. In supermarkets. In hospitals. All over people gather. And this order 
It's not, it has not generated on your nation. But it generates where this sickness, this pandemic started. This means we, there is something behind it. There is something they are working behind it. But church of God, still we can come together in the spirit and pull down their mission and destroy their agenda. Why? Because power it has been given to us. I have another video for us to understand so that we may take our position. Yo, I literally had to get out of bed because this man right here had me so hot. What, he, what just came out of his mouth was so disrespectful, yo, I had to get out of the bed. Because this right here is exactly what I've been telling y'all about. I, when that pastor of Florida got arrested, this right here is exactly what I've been telling you about, about man. I want y'all to hear what just came out of this man's mouth. Okay, I'm going to let a couple of you log in and I'm going to play the words that just, the blasphemy that came out of this man's mouth. Because I've been telling you what they want to do is mock your faith. The gods of science and facts are about to clash with the sons and daughters of God. I told you, don't bash that Florida pastor because you don't know what God told him to do. Because they've been waiting for an opportunity to say, oh. Oh, you trust that God is going to cover you from the coronavirus? You trust? That's crazy. That's why. Listen to this man. Today, the number is down because we brought the number down. God did not do that. What? Look at his face. Look at that face. We have brought the number down. Not God who has done it, but we did it. God didn't do it, faith didn't do it, but we, we brought the number down. We have to understand people of God. We have to understand what is going on. So that we may stand firm and pray against this pandemic. Because this, there is the, the, mon, the satanic hand behind it to introduce the plan of the enemy. But still we have power and authority. Now, this is what the conspiracy which took place in the days of Mordecai because they have a, a different culture. Because we have, we, we have a different culture from their culture. We have different beliefs from their beliefs. That's why they are conspired. That's why they are conspiring. But we have our God, who is in heaven, who tell us when the foundation of the righteous, when the foundation has been uh, uh, has been shaken, what the righteous will do? Your foundation has been shaken. Your foundation in Metikizwa. The foundation is something which, uh, whatever you're doing, it support it. The, the foundation is something which support everything you are doing. And the Bible says, when your foundation has been brought down, what the righteous will do. And the Bible says, God sits on his throne, watching the sons of men. It's time for us to call our God. It's time for church, for believers to be serious with their God. There are many believers, Christians, who have taken this uh, situation like a, a, a spiritual holiday. They are careless. They are doing nothing. No praying. No attending service, or even online. When the devil is working against them, it's time for us to wake up 
in our sleep and pray and seek the face of our God so that we may change what the enemy has planned against us. It was planned in the day of Mordecai for the chosen people. But when they stood together, far only three days and nights, fasting and prayer, all the evil plots came down. They were not destroyed. They were not killed. But the promoter, but the, promoter the initiator of their kills, kills of their case, who is Haman, was destroyed. If we stand together as a church, if we seek the face of our God, those who conspire behind this situation, God will finish them. And we shall live in the land of the living God. Why? Mordecai understood. He knew we have a father. Even when we are living, we are alien in this place. We never embrace their law. We never which means we, we are in connection with our God. And what, when we seek the face of our God, God will remember us and God will heal us. It's not time to seek help somewhere else. In the book of Ruth, there are, there are stories of Ruth. When the famine come, came in their land, uh, this uh, there are family there. Kuna when family, famine came in their lands, when the famine came to their land, I'm talking about Ruth chapter one. Ruth Moja. Let's go there. We should not act like these people. When the crisis came in their lands, they decided to go where they were. Uh, they were not allowed to go. And they were destroyed there. This is not the time to seek help somewhere else. There are people, we have heard many things. Many people have become prophets due to this situation. Many prophecy has come out for the cure of Corona. And many people have done it. But the true cure is when we go to our knees we seek the face of our God and we destroy the agenda of the enemy. Now, what, what happened in, this, in the book of Ruth chapter 1, verse 1 to 5? Ruth Moja. In the days when the judges ruled there was a famine in the land and a man of Bethlehem in Judah went to sojourn in the country of Moab. He and his wife and his two sons the name of the man was Elimelech, and the name of his wife, Naomi, and the names of his two sons were Ma Ma Manlo and Chilio. They were Ephrathites Ephra Ephra from Bethlehem in Judah. They went into this country of Moab and remained there. But Elimelech, the husband of Naomi, died and she was left with her two sons, this took, Moab, uh, this took Moabite wives. The name of the one was Orpha, and the name of the other Ruth. They lived there about 10 years, and both Manlo and Shilio died so that the woman was left without her two sons and the husband. See the story which we read in the, in the, in the book of Ruth. This was the, when the famine came in the land. And this, this man decided to go in Moabite land. And Moab people, we have to know the origin of Moabite. Moab are, 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 it's a tribe which come out of incest. <coughs> Incest. Katika lana. Katika lana. This, the Moabites are the descendants so, of this man who was left alone. 
with his two daughters. And these his two daughters decided there's nobody to marry us. What we are going to do for us to preserve our, the seed of our father. We are going to lie with our father so that he may give us children so that we may keep our generation. And the Bible says they, they gave their father uh, uh, the wine and their father was drunk. The first slept with her father, his father. The second slept with the father. And those two girls, two, two girls, became pregnant. And this is the, the, the descendant, the Moabites. Which means there are people who are cast. Which means when the family came in the land of this, this man, the husband to Naomi, he ran to Moabai to seek help. My question is why it's only men who are dying? <laughs> and not wives. Because men are the heads, they are leaders. They are leaders. And when they, they go there, they die, all of them. Why? Because they, they were seeking help where they were not supposed to seek help. Church of God, my viewers, wherever you are, it's not time to seek help to anybody. Lift her your eyes where your help comes. Our help comes from our Lord. In this situation, nobody will help you. Nobody knows what to do. It's only God who can rescue us. It's only God who can deliver us. And when we come together in faith, believing our God, trusting our God, salvation will come in your life. Salvation will come in your family. Salvation will come in your nation. Salvation will come wherever you are. Our salvation for this pandemic will not come through this will not come through this. will not come through this. But our salvation, our salvation will come in the name of Jesus. That is the name given to man. That is the name which can deliver us. That is the name which can bring salvation to us. It's time for us to go back to our God. It's time to go back to our God. And I want to call you wherever you are, wherever you are watching us, wherever you are following us. We know we are in social distances. We cannot join our hands together. But we can, we can join our spirit together. And when we join our spirit together, whatever we declare, it shall come to pass. Every declaration in agreement, it shall come to pass. Wherever you are, wherever you are following me, I want to invite you now in prayer. Wherever you are, wherever you are, I want to invite you now in prayer. I want to invite you in prayer now. This is the time of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we join our spirit together with my viewers wherever they are. Father, we have discovered COVID is not your plan. This is the plan of the enemy. The agenda of the enemy to depopulate the world. But we join our faith together and we declare and decree. As the Bible says, they will come in one way, but they will be scattered in seven ways. 
As we read today in our Bible, in the book of Esther, we found a conspiracy was made. In a way, the king was bribed with the enemy of the Jew people so that they may be slaughtered wherever they are. But because they knew their God, and when they seek your face, the plan of Haman was destroyed. Father, we join our hand together with my sister, my brother, wherever they are. We come against with new world order. We destroy your plan in the name of Jesus. We declare confusion in your camp in the name of Jesus. Every spirit behind COVID, we render it powerless in the name of Jesus. Christ. Any kind of declaration which was made about Africans. How Africa will die. We declare it shall not happen in the name of Jesus. We shall live to declare the goodness of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray for all people. For divine protection. We cast out the spirit of fear. In the name of Jesus. It is written. We have not been given the spirit of fear. But the spirit of power and sound mind. And sound mind tells me. We shall not die. We shall not die. But we shall live to declare the goodness of God. The sound mind tells me. Those who know their God. They will be stronger and do exploit. I declare and decree exploit in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Those who are sick, we speak healing in the name of Jesus. Those who are in the hospital beds, receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. I speak restoration. Restoration. In the name of Jesus. Those who are in the needs. Father, Jehovah Jireh is your name. Reveal yourself in the life of your people. Father, we pray for our nation, Kenya. Protect this nation. Your people will not die. They will live to declare the goodness of God. This pandemic will not ravage this nation. Will not destroy the economy of this nation. In the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for Africa. Africa will not die. Will live to declare the goodness of God. Other continents. They will know you. They will see you. Through this to Africa. In the name of Jesus. Father, we bless Shekinah family. Wherever they are, bless your people. Protect them. Minister to them. Provide for their needs. Father, we bless this week. We speak miracle to take place in the lives of your people. You gave us a word for 2020. The year of supernatural. You knew this situation. That why you gave us that word. In the name of Jesus, the God of supernatural provides for your people Pro provides for your people protects your people answer their prayers do miracle for them and all the glory shall come back to you Father we thank you in Jesus name we pray and believe Amen 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 Thank you wherever you are following us. Thank you for giving us an opportunity to serve you. We know our God has spoke, uh, uh, spoken to you. 
and your faith has been increased. I want also to thank my team, uh, Paul, my interpreter, the servant in Shekaina, uh, Manus, a servant in Shekaina, and Maombi, our cameraman. God bless you all. Next time, before we finish, I know Paul has some announcement to give you. Kabla tumalize there some announcements I want to present to you that are going to be on air again on Tuesday from 5:30 and on Thursday 5:30. Make sure you tune in, make sure you are together with us, invite people. This is a church without walls. It's everywhere. So make sure mealika kila mtu on Sunday at a time like the one that we started from 10 a.m. a bit of a powerful service like this one that you've just had may God bless you and may God do you good for your offerings and tithes if you go to our pages I'm going to find the number there be on your screen there is a number provided there for M-Pesa and for your tithes and offering you can use that number and the Lord is going to do you good this is a service like no, no any other service may God bless you see you next time Shalom